Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes because I had recently uh, seen a really nice video out there on YouTube. Someone was describing um, one of their uh, heavy equipment vehicles that they had recently got and I thought I'd take a few minutes and go through my 99% um, Norscott collection which uh, includes what I call an earth mover um, excavators right here a non the only non Norscott which is a Volvo ex excavator as well as um, several different types of two different types of uh, front end wheel loaders and a whole slew of little miniature caterpillar um, kind of mini dozers. Um, most of these I got with the idea to use as um, flat car loads, but I'm going to go through them here and show them one at a time. Uh, sadly, this is the only um, model that I've got like this. Um, I think these are great. This one actually um, moves a little bit. Not sure I can do it with one hand, but um, and I'm not even sure how available the uh, Norscott stuff is. I haven't seen it uh, around. Hopefully, they're still available. They're they're not the best out there, but um, I think they definitely have a lot to offer. Um, they're sort of a mix of die cast and plastic parts. Okay, this is the the Norscott um, Caterpillar 315CL excavator, and I've got about four of these, and they're just awesome for for flat car loads you can manipulate the uh the arm right here as well as um they pivot on the uh treads your bucket can change angle and of course these like i said i got these in mind for for loads for flat cars but um you know they can also model a, a really good construction scene and um might look a lot better um, if you plan on using them in action if you dole them down some put a little bit of weathering on them but like I say I got four of these guys this is the only um, uh, non Norscott model that I've got uh, this has a die cast sort of body and then the most of the other parts are um, plastic let me see if I can move it around a little bit and it swivels it's got a swiveling bucket basically all the hydraulic little arm pieces that you see do move as well as it pivots on its treads but very cool I wish I knew who made this one but um, very nice piece of equipment All right, these are uh, Norscott wheel loaders, and they've basically got a um, couple of places where they pivot. Um, you can turn the turn the uh, the wheels here on the front, or you got to pivot there as well as um, the 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 bucket as well as two places on the arms. Let me see if I can show that in a downward position there is a sort of a down position you might see it on a, on a flat car lashed down with some chains I've got four of those and I just remember a lot of these actually came from uh, Hobby Lobby uh, I don't know if they still have them I got them several years ago I just kind of put all these away but figured I'd uh, pull them out and take a look at them 
Now, one thing I did notice, and I think I've heard a few people say that the the Norscott models kind of uh, decrease their quality over time. Like, for instance, if you look closely at this, these are uh, kind of bulldozers. Uh, these are modeled, uh, I can't see that close, D5M. The first two actually have fixed treads that don't move at all, whereas this is a couple that are a little bit older that the treads actually are separate separate pieces, rubber pieces. Um, and on all, all of these, the actual uh, blade on the on the front does does turn. Um, but I I'd like to say I got these. I, I don't know where I got them. I think I got them at some hobby shops as well as may have gotten a few at uh, Hobby Lobby. Now these came from a couple of years ago. Um, they were at uh, some of the, maybe even, um, I can't remember the name of the, sort of a generic hobby shop selling everything, RC, planes, trains. And they were up at the checkout. And this is sort of a mini Norscott. And really the only thing on these that move is the actual blade is pivoted. Um, but they come in a small case. And I want to say I got about eight of these because I saw these and I instantly thought, oh man, that's perfect for a flat car load. Let me get a flat car and put some on. Okay, so no chains on this, but this to give you a perspective, uh, this is a Intermountain 60 foot uh, wood deck flat car. And there's four of these little mini dozers um, on here. And, uh, of course, I'm sure you could put these on 85, 89 foot, 50 foot, 40 foot flat cars as well. Uh, I just pulled this one out because this is one of my, my favorite flat cars. But anyways, just wanted to share these, these old Norscots. And if anybody knows if they're still available... Uh, Please leave some information in the in the comments for me because I always like to use some more. I think these make great loads. They look really good. Anyways, everybody be safe out there. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.